Hi guys, it's Debbie from Duluth Art. I'm going to try another um, unicorn spit painting and I'm debating here. I should have had this together. Um, what exactly I'm going to do. I know I'm going to need some weight down. That's the first thing. I did uh, previously, I um, primed a record with some bullseye primer. We did a balloon smash earlier, so now I think I'm going to try the bag idea like I did the other day. So I'm going to start with uh, red. And you just kind of draw a design of a flower. mix it. I mix my um, unicorn spit, one part unicorn spit to two parts Floetrol. I do not add water. It's a water-based uh, uh, stain gel. So that's not, you don't want to add water and when you seal this it needs to be with an oil sealer. sealer so um, I haven't even tried sealing with resin yet over this, but I'm, I am going to try that. See how that goes. Add some yellow right in the center. I'm going to throw some purple in there somewhere. Right down the side here. get kind of messy. And let's see what else. I need some green leaves. You can make your leaves any way you want to. And I'm actually going to put some teal in that with those leaves just to see what that would do. Look like. I don't like that real greenish Okay. All right. Let me get our bag. I think that's enough. Baggy like so. Last time I filled really full, full with air. This time I'm not going to fill it up so full. We'll see what happens. It does come out better on the bag every time. <laughs> okay, but this is still pretty. It's a real pretty one. I love it. I love how this flower went. Yeah. That turned out really pretty. And now I'm going to go take this and put this on my big canvas. Look how nice that is. That purple, I like how the purple came out. Just little bits around it. So... Let me move this, and I'll bring it up a little bit so for you to see. I think it turned out quite nice. You can see some cells in there coming out. So let's see how this dries. It's a little bit different uh, material. Last time I painted on a linen canvas, 
so it kind of like absorbed and bloomed out which is it still is pretty but um I like this so let me get this to dry flower onto my big canvas. I, I started applying the flowers on here when I had left over. Sorry for the cat keeps hitting the tripod because my leg is very close to it so <laughs> keeps knocking it. But anyway this is pretty dark down here so I'm going to add this flower right there. Right on here like just like that. Okay, still pretty bright. So, uh, let's see. Add a few colors down here. Just to brighten it up a little. Okay. I got my use out of the bag. I made a real pretty flower at the bottom. <laughs> 